How's it going you wonderful people it's Jay and in today's video we're taking you, yes you, with us to London MCM Comic Con. So grab your bag, grab your switch, grab your Oyster card, let's go. MCM Comic Con is back. So in today's video we're going to be taking you guys on a little guided tour of Comic Con, also answer questions about how to get there, what it's like as we start to ease out of the pandemic, all those questions and more in today's video. So let's go! First things first, when is it and how to get there? Comic Con, previously known as London MCM Expo, has been running for about 20 years now, bringing together communities of fans, young and old, twice a year to celebrate the things that we love. Comics, movies, video games, anime, sci-fi, cosplay, Japanese culture, all under one roof by the docks in East London. It all happens within a huge conference centre called Excel London, with different rooms to explore depending on what you're looking for. So just how to get there? The best way if you live or travel into London is getting on the old trusty London transport. In the past the best way would have been the old Docklands Light Railway or the DLR, but it often meant a few changes and long, long, long waits. But as of May 2022 it's all changed thanks to the Elizabeth Line, a nod to the Queen. No, not that Queen, but the Queen of Little Old Britain. It's super, super quick, super smooth and fast. If you're coming into London it serves a lot of major stops and the best part is that these routes are generally step free and it's perfect if you need to use a lift. So just hop on a train and hop off at Custom House, the quickest Comic Con journey ever. This year's MCM London Comic Con is the first summer event in two years and it's always a great time with usually the bank holiday sun bringing in the heat and the buzz of the geeky community hanging out outside. Coming back to the XL you're greeted with that instant feeling that this is the place to belong. It doesn't matter who you are, you're welcome to showcase your passions without being mocked or judged. First things first tickets. This time around it's slightly different as all tickets need to be bought online even if you turn up on the day. I suspect it's probably going to be like that going forward so definitely book online ahead of time if you can for future comic cons. Want to avoid those queues? Early afternoons or super early mornings are probably the best time to turn up. There is a long, long, long walk though so be prepared. But what does a huge event like Comic Con feel like as we kind of ease out of the pandemic? I've been to a few geeky events in the last two years and these have always been a great and safe show to visit despite the challenging circumstances. It feels now very much like it was pre-2020 with heaps of stalls to explore, events to take part in and just that surge of geeky energy that's very 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 much needed these days. The great thing about the XL is that sense of space as well. You've got room to do your own thing, to hang out, whether it's getting stuck in the shopping stalls, playing games, checking out the stage events, or just even finding a nice comfy corner to sit back and unwind. Doing the entire loop around the event would definitely take a good few hours at the very minimum. You've got loads of awesome fashion and accessory stalls packed with all sorts of fan favourites and unique designs. Most fandoms are covered from those Nintendo essentials to anime, film tributes to your more obscure comics. For those of you who crave that little retro fix and want to get your hands on some original hardware, Comic Con usually has a good selection of classic games to play, old school gems and those timeless greats. One of the best parts of geeky events has to be the artist alleys, rows of creative fans who pour so much love and skill into their crafts, prints, stickers, all these tributes to the characters that we love and introducing us to their own original characters too. I love seeing the gaming selections of course from awesome hand cut diorama boxes with scenes and classic games to gorgeous ocarinas to play through. If you dabble in creative bits, if you are a creator, definitely, definitely check out Comic Con. It's the best place to showcase your work, meet new fans, there's just nothing like it. We've done Comic Con tables before at previous events, unfortunately didn't have a booth this year, but it is so recommended. It's Even if you do it once, it's such a good feeling. 
cosplay is another great part of any con and MCM Comic Con definitely hosts some of the best costumes across all sorts of fandoms. I love that joy that cosplay brings to both the cosplayer and fans whose eyes light up seeing these characters come to life. There's so much passion to capture the personalities, the likenesses, and even those little unique twists to each character. The outside fringe area is back in full swing, and I love seeing the huddles of fans meeting up and just simply geeking out. So much chill and just a wholesome thing to see. It's definitely the place to be, especially in the sunshine. There's also an awesome stage in the fringe area with the best geeky live acts and music, including our very own Susie G-Force, who headlined Friday Slot this year. So, so proud! Go Susie! So there we go, a little overview video of London MCM Comic Con. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us for the ride. Definitely check out all these big major events coming up this year. We've got EGX, Hyper Japan, loads of Comic Cons across the country, including Manchester, Liverpool, Birmingham, Bristol, Brighton, all these amazing cities near you. Definitely check them out. They're well worth going to to celebrate all things geeky. So if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button if you want to see more videos like this, more geeky, more gaming, more Nintendo videos, you may want to subscribe. And before we move on to the next video be sure to check out our exclusive merch, Geeky and Gaming Designs voted for by you, links are below, thank you so much for your support. And there we go, Comic Con in a little nutshell, hope you enjoyed it guys and we'll see you in the next video, bye bye.